Hi, welcome back to Make Stuff, Break Stuff. Today, we're gonna make a homemade propane forge burner. Alan, what did you do with the parts? The parts we're gonna need for this project are a piece of one inch cast iron pipe, a one inch to three quarter inch reducer, a nine inch piece of three quarter pipe, a one and a half inch to three quarter inch reducer, a quarter inch ball valve, a one eighth inch pipe, a one eighth inch to one quarter inch bushing, a one eighth inch end cap, and optionally, some MIG welding tips. The burner configuration is gonna be as such. We're also gonna need an assortment of tools, a couple of wrenches, a center punch, a drill, and an assortment of drill bits. If you choose to go the MIG welding tip option, you'll also need a tap. The first step is we're gonna assemble the cast iron pieces. These can just be hand tight. They're not gonna be pressurized. This forms the basic body of the burner. Here at the one and a half to three quarter inch reducer it forms the venturi. Then we have the body and then the flare at the end going from three quarter to one inch to slow down the airflow. Next, to help with our assembly, we can put the end cap on the one eighth inch pipe and just get it as tight as you can by hand. You can use a wrench to tighten it up a little more. Next, we want to drill the hole through the flange for the 1 8 inch pipe. To make this easier, we're going to center punch where we want the hole. And then we're going to repeat in the same spot on the other side. Now, for drilling this hole, I would recommend starting with a small pilot hole and then step up through your drill bits to the final size. Should be approximately 10 and a half millimeters for the 1 8 inch pipe. More power. Good enough for government work. Now that you have the hole drilled all the way through, you can test fit the gas pipe. While you have the pipe in here, you wanna make a note of approximately where the center is. You can just scratch a line. Once you've checked the fitting, you can remove it. Now where this center line is that we scribed, that's where we're gonna drill the hole for the gas to exit. You're gonna do that using a number 60 drill bit. These are very small. They're actually made in wire gauges. So you're going to be very careful when you're drilling. Use very light pressure, go slowly to make sure you don't bend or break the drill bit. You can also chuck the drill bit farther back in the drill so there's not as much extended. Reduces the stress on the drill bit. Also, we want to try to center punch where we want the hole. That way the drill bit doesn't wander when we're getting started. A tip on center punching, never strike a second time until you've double checked and made sure the punch is still in the correct spot. As it can hop after your first strike. Now from here we have two options. We can either proceed just with that hole, which is what many people do and it works just fine or we can drill the hole larger, tap it, and put in a MIG welding tip. That helps to direct the gas a little more centrally down the burner and helps it perform just slightly better. I'm gonna tap it out and use a MIG tip just to show you. I'm using an M6 tap and recommended drill bit size on that is five millimeters. Now that we have the hole drilled, we can tap the hole. M6 tap. If you don't have a tap wrench, you can hold it using an adjustable wrench. Not recommended, but it'll get the job done in a pinch. You just have to be extra careful about holding it perpendicular and square to your work. Hmm. 
Not a perfect thread, but it'll get the job done. Next we can test fit the MIG tip. And it threads in nicely, relatively square. For final assembly, remove the MIG tip. And you're gonna insert the pipe back into the fitting. Check for alignment. The hole should center up with the main body of the pipe. Then you can turn it 180 degrees, line it up. To attach the MIG tip, we're going to unscrew the reducer from the body. We're gonna wrap some pipe sealing tape around the MIG fitting. This helps seal it. And also if you suck at cutting threads by hand, like myself, help takes out some of the air and then you can just thread it in with a pair of needle nose pliers. And that makes a nice snug fit. Now you can add the reducer bushing. Snug that up with a wrench. And finally add your quarter inch ball valve. You'll notice that this spins kind of freely. What you can do, you can solder or braise this fitting or just add some wire to keep it from spinning. But you wanna make sure that the MIG tip or if you're just using this hole, that's aligned straight down the pipe. As you may or may not be able to see, we've got the MIG tip pointed straight down the body of the burner. And we're gonna to try to solder this to hold it in place. Now this is not gonna be a professional soldering job by any means. It's just be more of a, uh, a hack job. We're probably just gonna end up with a big glob of solder on there just to hold it in place. But we'll see how it goes. She appears to be flowing all right. This might not work out too bad after all. All right, the burner is cooled off, and as you can see, that's nice and secure. It's not gonna spin anymore on us. Here's a look at the final burner. It should be powerful enough to heat up most home forges. Well, thank you for watching. Alan and I had a great time building this gas forge burner today. We hope you found it useful and insightful. We look forward to getting the forge up and running in our next video. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and like.